Good morning, Leo. Welcome to your reading. Let's see what we have for you today. Sun, Moon, Rising. Take the bits that resonate, leave the rest. Today, this is about the past, the present, the challenges, the near future. Okay. What's gone off in the past? Oh, something ended for you. You made a judgment call after a lot of introspection. Okay. You got the judgment card here. Very powerful cards in the past, actually. All major arcana. You've got the death card, the hermit card. You matured in a lot of ways. You stayed with somebody, I get him all for the wrong reasons. But you kept it to yourself. You kept trying and trying and trying to make it work. And I'm kind of getting you more or less tried to fit in with somebody else. It didn't work. Okay, you're. You now you made a decision to follow your own path. You came to terms with the past, and now you know you made a decision to move forward and follow your own destiny. And in that transitional period, you kind of slowly but surely separated yourself from somebody. You wanted to be alone for a long while to figure out what it exactly it is you wanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now you made the decision because it's on your happiness here. Okay. Things have changed for you a lot. You've got very, very mixed feelings about somebody here. And I'm kind of getting after a lot of introspection. You're going to reveal your feelings to somebody. Okay. You're going to tell them exactly what you think and feel of them. I'm kind of getting there's something new for you here that you're following. You've been kind of standing at a fork in the road for a while. But you've not jumped into this. This is not sudden out of the blue within a 24 hours making your mind up you've been mulling this over for a while there was a lot of responsibilities put on you okay and you've been doing very well at juggling your responsibilities I'm kind of getting you've got some split loyalties so one or two of you could be feeling guilty about this. Mm. You're fully aware of what you decide now. You will not go back. You will not backtrack. Okay, because there was multiple attempts in the past to resurrect this connection. And it obviously hasn't worked. The challenge for you is this person is very in and out. You have a lot of regrets. You know, and as I say, you're going to communicate this and you're making decisions. You're acting cold towards somebody. There's no emotion left. Kind of getting now, some of you are going through the motions. You want to avoid a confrontation. There is a situation, a person here you want to avoid. You want to follow your own path, basically. You seem to think... You feel that this person treats you more as an option or just a, as a convenience, really, when it suits them. The reason why you've done a lot of introspection is because you feel that decisions you made in the past didn't work out and you don't want to repeat, you know, and regret There's been some intuitive feeling and even, you know, emotional feelings here. A lot of you have actually been avoiding the truth. or well, you didn't want to know because feelings were there. A lot of feelings. Yeah. It's all changing. It's being honest with yourself about the past. Like I say, you're making a decision. There 
is some split loyalties here. I'm kind of getting some of you are carrying guilt. Okay. Now, in any relationship, whether it works or not, has their part to play. You know, it's like Shakespeare said, the stages with all the actors, Romeo and Juliet especially, you know, they all had their part to play in the direction that it went. Notice I didn't say outcome. Not too fond of this word outcome because outcome gives you some kind of finality. We all know in reality and in the universe there is constant change. It's been going on for billions of years, okay? So to me, the word outcome, mm, don't like it. This is why I don't pull outcome cards, all right? The direction you're going, it's you will face the truth. You will be honest with yourself and you'll, you'll be honest why there's been a connection around you and why you've stayed so long. That's when you'll make your decision. And I'll be honest with some of you, you could, you know, stick with it, but insist on changes. Not all of you will leave this complete. Let's see what the energies are around you. Oops. Yeah, it's a third party influence, you see. You you or they could be in another connection, you know. But whatever the circumstances, you're making decisions for you now, not for them. All right, sorry for the glare, these are quite shiny cards. You've got the Page of Pentacles, you've got the Three of Cups, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, you've got the lovers. All oh, right. There's, a, there's an opportunity now for it all to come together, whether you're in a situation, they're in a situation, or another connection, sorry. And it's decision time. There is a great opportunity. For some of you, there is a third party, and it's a choice between two people, two situations. Okay. Like I say, it could well be the person you're dealing with is dealing with a third party or whatever. Or if they're a player type energy, they're seeing a lot of different people. All right, whatever the situation, you know, it's for a long time because of feelings and even love some of you, you didn't want to, you avoided the truth. But the truth's all going to come out. All right, your energy. You're going to realise the truth and make a decision. Yeah. You've been clinging to it. I'm kind of getting from your point of view, there was some obsession. All right, you kept trying and trying and trying and trying to get stability. You could have even been dealing with somebody who is narcissistic or, you know, has an addiction but you've been holding on to this in the hope that you can get stability. Like I said, there's something new. Now, whether this is a career change or whether there's somebody new on the personal front, you're going to let go of something here. You're trying to let go of it. Everything's going to come to like a fiery climax and I'm picking up for one or two of you an ultimatum. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching.